Hi folks and welcome to my new video. This video was supposed to be the next in the series of things in my past that affected me but I've decided to go down a different route for a very good reason. What I found is because I made all those videos at the same time I'm not updating people on where I am now. I've had a couple of comments and a couple of questions asking me to update people on my progress so what I'm going to do is spend a couple of minutes doing that and then I'm just going to play the end section of the video where I talk about how each of these things had profound effects on me and what it did overall. As always guys, I need to start by saying thank you for actually tuning in and actually taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I've said it a million times and I'll say it in every single video, you have no idea what it means to me that you're doing this with me and for me. And on that, as always, please, if you are enjoying the videos, please like, subscribe and hit that bell for me. So, where am I? So start with the big one, I'm still not smoking. But yeah, I'm still not smoking, I'm feeling brilliant about it. Um, I've had a couple of really good bits where people have stopped me in the street asking me for a light and things like that. And the feeling I get out of saying, sorry mate, I don't smoke. It's just so good. And I'll have to check how long it's been because I don't know. Maybe somebody could tell me. I've had some really good experiences over the past couple of weeks that I will, I'm sure I'll talk about at length in another video, but I just want everybody to know that I'm quite upbeat just now. I'm doing really well and I just think it's important that people know that. On a more serious note, um, I've been back to my doctor and after quite a long talk, I've been signed off for a month and I've been started on a course of antidepressants. I only started them on Monday, so I don't expect any miraculous changes in me just now. The one thing I will say, I'm not really enjoying them. I've been quite zombied by them. It's quarter past five at night and I've been trying to make this video since 10 o'clock this morning. It took me so much longer than it normally would to edit the last video. And I don't know if it's just because I've just started taking them or if this is the way it's going to be. If this is the way it's going to be, I don't think I'm going to take them very long. If being fixed and medicated means I'm a zombie, then I'd much rather try it a different way. If there's anybody out there who has more experience in this kind of thing, I would greatly appreciate any advice you have on the matter. Just now, I just feel as if they're making me feel worse. I read the whole instruction leaflet and yes, I know that there is a period at the start that's kind of dangerous, but I've been a zombie for three days and I don't like that. That's why nothing's been done. So I'm off work for a month and I don't plan on wasting it. My house is like a palace. I'm loving it. My bedroom, you've already seen. My kitchen, still immaculate. My living room, gorgeous. I even cleaned the bathroom. Right, that's enough of the serious stuff. I need to say, this week, there have been some extraordinary things happening to me. Some amazing acts of kindness from people I haven't seen or spoken to in 20, 30 years. I will go into that in a lot more detail, but just now, it's just about getting an update and letting everybody know that I'm doing well. You guys are amazing. The, the comments and just people just sending random messages just asking how I am. It's phenomenal and I will never stop thanking you for it. As much as you won't understand why I'm doing it, I need to give a huge shout out to two really, really amazing people. Davy Hutton and Tony Kearney. Both of you have restored my faith in humanity for now. <laughs> um, you guys are amazing and I'm going to talk about it in another video. But thank you. Right, so here goes. This was meant to be a video about a company I worked for that sold education packages to schools. That's all you need to know about them. Apart from one other thing, there were two guys that worked there in the sales team. Because I'd never worked in this industry before, I saw them as super professional. They were talking to head teachers in schools and they were talking about government legislation towards education, raising attainment and achievement and things like that. And I was completely out of my depth. Over a three month period that I worked there, I let these two people systematically destroy me and I ended up, the day that I get sacked, I thanked the guy that sacked me. It was that bad. I then spent 18 months unemployed because of this company. That's all you need to know about them. I talk at length about it and you don't need to know that. What you need to know is they did that to me and that's why 
this next video you're about to watch is everything that came after how I spoke about the company. Enjoy the video guys. Have a great day. So that there is a couple of things that happened in my life that were turning points or key points where if somebody had stepped in and said, how do you feel? Are you okay? That we might have had a different outcome. I might not be sitting here making these videos. But even that, in my head, I'm thinking, if somebody's getting help from these videos, it was worth me going through it. So in another one of those kind of pre-video videos that I make, I talk quite a lot about being awake and how it hurts being awake and how being awake at work I feel this or being awake at Laura's and Layla's I feel this and then it suddenly hit me I never used the word alive and maybe that's part of it just now I feel awake not alive I'm going through the motions I'm making sure that I'm doing the bare minimum to get through each day unscathed and that needs to change because I love being alive. Life is good. I have spent years on Facebook getting shouted at and slagged for being the chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap guy. There was about a year where every morning the first thing I would do was go onto Facebook and say, good morning, my friends. How are you? Now, what can we find in today to make it beautiful and all this kind of stuff? And a lot of people really liked them, but there were a couple of my cynical friends who would <laughs> leave nice comments about can you no be that happy all the time I like being happy why would you not like being happy it's fun so that was just a couple of key points in my life I'm pretty sure everybody's got them but take some time and look at them maybe you'll see something similar to what I've been through maybe you'll look at a job you had in the past and go you know what they were idiots and you'll get some sort of resolution from it. You'll see that it wasn't you. Because you know what? When I worked for the electrical store, I did good. People left with what they come in for. And that made me happy. When I worked in insurance, I was confident that the policy we sold was brilliant and at the best price for them. And then when I worked for the education company, I just couldn't see myself ever becoming one of these guys because they were better than me. Don't let anybody ever put you in a position where you feel any less than yourself. I've spent years being that guy and any time I've ever tried to change and be a bit more confident and stand up to people, you get the same response, you've changed. No, I'm just standing up for myself the way you do. It happens everywhere and just be aware of it. And also, if you look back at the one when I was talking about when I read Catch on the Rye, kids are really fragile. They're also the strongest, bounciest things in the world, but they are really fragile. Nobody ever took the time to ask me how I felt about how I identified with Holden Caulfield. I even wrote it into my dissertation about how it was a tragic character and how I really identified which made it easier for me to get into the head of Holden Caulfield. Nobody came back to me saying, Terry, are you okay? I just get an A from Higher English. <laughs> so yeah. Take the time to look at your own life. Look at the situations you're in. Look at your working conditions. Is there anything there that you think needs to be changed in order for your life, your mental state, your physical state to get better? And how difficult or how easy would it be to make that change. I wish I'd done it years ago, but I'm here now, 45 year old, and finally figuring out why the world didn't work for Terry McEwen.
And that in itself is something. Like holding, I don't fit in. And I'm not saying that I'm unique or special or anything like that. I just choose to believe that this world can be a better place. And I find it hard conforming to the negative, nasty stuff that's out there every day. You only need to watch the news to see how terrible the world is. Why do you have to add to it? What's wrong with going out and actually trying to be in a good mood? What's wrong with trying to make other people's lives better? Without there being an ulterior motive. Without it being, oh, I really believe that you want this camcorder instead of the one you've actually come in for. Because I know you better than you know you. Crap! No, you don't. All you know is, is that your company wants more money in the till. Now, I don't expect anybody to walk into their work tomorrow and become a crusader for good. But be aware. Be aware that not everybody is ever going to be as nice as you. While I was tidying up, I found another post-it note and on it it says, Other people are not you. Don't expect them to be like you. And then I've written, Catcher and Peter Pan. That more or less sums up why I am where I am. Not everybody's bad. In fact, I still find it very hard to believe that anybody is deliberately bad. They just believe different things. Why can't there be space for both ways of thinking? I don't like the fact that I think other people are not like me. The world would be really boring if everybody was like me, but it would be a damn sight nicer. Now again, I am not this courageous superhero trying to change the world and make everybody super good. But what I am saying is that if you are one of those good people, do not under any circumstances let anybody control you, put you down or change you. It's good being a good person. And I tell Layla that every single day because I refuse to believe that she's going to grow up in a world where bad wins all the time. Listen, this video has went on way longer than I intended it to yet again. If you're still watching, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, as always, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for me. And again, share the video. If there is somebody you know out there that is going through something similar, tell them about the video. Let them watch it. All it takes is one person seeing one bit in these videos and making a conscious decision to change their life and this whole thing's been worthwhile. I'm enjoying the journey I'm on, I'm enjoying the changes but it's not just about me. Folks, as always, a huge thank you for watching this. I know that they're not massively entertaining and they're not funny but they're really important to me and if you found anything in them that was worthwhile please like, subscribe and hit that bell. I want to get my message to as many people as possible because the idea of this helping somebody is encouraging. Folks, have an amazing day. It's gorgeous out there and life is funky. I still believe that. Having a bad time finding it but I still believe it. Um, yeah, have a great day guys and I'm sure we'll chat soon.